Hey guys, Pixel Insane here. Would you like to make this beautiful procedural water shader in less than 3 minutes? Well, follow along. First thing we gotta do, let's go to solid view and then press A and select all and press delete. Boom. And then let's go back to the default layout and press shift A and add a cube. Let's make this cube right here 2 meters by 2 meters by 0.5 and then let's move it up on the Z axis by 0.25. Then select the cube and rename it. I press in F2 and then rename it water. And then here on the left on the shader editor, press the cube and then click on new material and let's give it a name water. Mat. And then before click on render view, let's make sure that you have an HDRI set as your lights. And then we can click on render view right there. First of all, we need to change the index of refraction, which is for water is 1.33. And then the second thing, because water is transparent, we need to increase the transmission of the material up to 1. And here we have transparency. And voila! After that, we're going to just click on the volume and drag and search for a volume principle shader right there. And let's change its density up to 5. And and voila make sure you change the color as well something bluish because water is blue after that we're gonna just shift a and search for a mix shader on the mix shader let's drag the factor and search for a light path is camera ray now we can disconnect the principal bsdf from the material output and we can connect it to the second slot of the mix shader and we can connect the mix shader to the material output surface and on the other slot we're just gonna drag and search for a transparent bsdf boom right away we have transparency also make sure that the roughness is set to zero so we have a really good reflection right there now for the fun part let's drag the normal and search for a bump node and voila let's set the strength up to 0.05 and press enter now let's drag the height and search for a musgrave texture and we'll start seeing something really cool let's increase the scale up to 70 or something like that and we have water if you want to animate it you can just change it to 4d and just drag the w value and we can drag it. Bonus tip on the tutorial, if you want to make it more interesting, just click and drag on the displacement and search for a displacement node. And voila! After that, we're just gonna duplicate the Musgrave texture right there, pressing Shift T, and then we connect the height to the height of the displacement. Obviously, we're not seeing the displacement yet because we need to set the material and also set it to experimental right there. Then go into the settings of the material right there. On the surface settings, just set it to displacement and bump. Then in the modifier properties, we're just gonna add a subdivision surface, set it to Adapt the division simple and set it to 0.5, the scale up to 0.05, and we have the displacement working. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you found it useful, please do consider to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And as usual, I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!